Okay, today we're going to look at an electric typewriter. This is the Smith Corona Coronet Super 12. It's called a Super 12 um, because it's got a power return and because it's got a 12 inch carriage. So this is going to be more of a crafting typewriter, occasional use, just like, hey, wouldn't it be fun to have a typewriter, but you're not going to use it that much or you want to get something for your kids. Um, not that it's not a good typewriter, it's a good typing typewriter. Um, however, it's just, um, I guess my personal preference, I'm trying to give you guys feedback so you know what kind of typewriter works well. But the power returns are pretty um, powerful and I find them very chunky. And so when you're writing a lot, I personally, as a writer, find it annoying but if you're not doing a lot of writing or you don't mind the uh, chunkiness of the return then this will work great for you because it's actually a great typing machine so just being honest and completely <laughs> in my feedback if you have kids this is a great typewriter for them um, and like I said, I don't want to appear negative. I'm just trying to give honest feedback because I want you to have something you like because it's a great typing machine. My personal preference is the return is um, a little jarring to my nerves, but you can decide for yourself after we look at the typing demo. So let's take a look around. There's the paper holder, your margins. This is your carriage release on either side of the handle. And that's a really nice, strong carriage. I like it for crafters because the 12 inch carriage, you can um, put your paper in, in a, a landscape mode versus just portrait. You could have different types of papers, um, sizes. People um, do, I do wanna let you know, you can put thicker cardstock through a typewriter and it's gonna handle it no problem. However, just know that the thicker you get, the more chance you have of it actually bending the typewriter, the paper. So the typewriter is fine. It's just um, you'll have to kind of experiment with the thickness of paper because at some point it's actually just going to bend the paper. Um, okay, so on this one, this uses a carriage uh, cartridge, excuse me instead of a ribbon spool. And so that is right here and I'm just gonna press the button on the bottom and it's gonna pop out. This makes it very easy. Another reason it's great for kids is because you don't have to worry about messy ink ribbon unless they take it out and put their fingers on it. Black only, but um, these are gonna last you quite a while and we do have replacement ones. All of our typewriters, um, we do put new um, either cartridge or ribbon spools in all of our typewriters. These babies are about 20 bucks, so um, that's a very good value add for your typewriter. Okay, so let's turn this on and take a look at how it types. Here's your set and clear for your tab to tab over. You just press the middle one. All right, when you're using a electric typewriter, do not put anything around your typewriter because sometimes when you turn it on, oh good, this one was good. Sometimes this carriage will go flying. And when you hit return, your carriage is gonna go flying. So never put anything breakable or spillable around your typewriter. Okay, let's go ahead and load up a piece of paper. Let's fix that. This is your paper release right here, which helps you fix it like I just did. Okay. So this is probably a, a 19, I'm going to guess 70s. A lot of times we don't know for sure on these newer ones, but this is a 1970s. And they're very easy to type on.
um, types super, super well. Okay, types extremely well. And so even if you are gonna do a longer typing project, this types so well, this would be great for it if you don't mind the power return. So it's just personal preference on that. I personally prefer manual returns, but if you like power returns, this is a great typewriter. Like I said, it's gonna be awesome for kids because it's easy for them to use. It's awesome for fast typists. And it's awesome if you need a workhorse of a typewriter. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Go to the links in our description below and let me know if you have any comments or questions. Have a great day.